Hi, you guys. So this is problem 34 from chapter 9. We have a current, and it's going through this circuit, which has a 22 ohm resistor here, 6 ohm resistor here, in parallel, in series with a parallel 12.5 um, millifarad capacitor, a 2 millihenry inductor, and a 5 ohm resistor. And we know that the current is 3 cosine 200 T milliamps, and we want to find the voltage at this end here. Um, so where do you begin? Well, up to this point, you've gotten a lot of tools. So you start going through your toolbox, just like if you were troubleshooting a car or anything, or some kind of electrical circuit, you take out your tools, your voltmeter, your Allen wrench, your Phillips screwdriver, and see what fits. If you don't know where to start, then start with what you're trying to find. We're trying to find voltage. We have current. So somehow we have to get current in terms of voltage. And how can we do that? You, um, what are some of the tools you have? You have, so far, superposition, super, um, superposition, um, source transformation, Y to delta transforms, um, equivalent resistances, equivalent impedances. So take from your toolbox something that makes sense. If I want to find current in terms of voltage, what I have here is a current that's in parallel with a 22 ohm resistor. I can do something to turn that into its equivalent voltage and that's source transformation. So that's the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do a source transformation here and once I do that, there's all this junk going on here, I want to simplify my circuit to one equivalent impedance and once I do that, this circuit will reduce to a voltage divider circuit. Okay? So before, I, before you continue with this video, pause it and see if you can solve it by taking all this junk, finding the equivalent impedance, turning this into a voltage, and then see if you can come up with the right answer, okay? Or, or see if you can find the voltage and then check the answer at the end of the video. So let's get started. Like I said, we want to turn this, do a source transformation for that. And what is this? So we have I, um, a current in parallel with a resistance, so we know that's going to be a voltage in series with the same resistance. So V of S, V S is going to be I S R. And that's going to be 3 angle 0 times, notice this is the um, omega, the angle is not written here, but it's implied to be 0. And uh, so that's going to be times. 22 ohms. 22 ohms. If there was an angle there, you would get something like 200 T plus 30, angle 30, or angle 90, or angle whatever. But no angle means zero angle is zero. So this becomes 66 angle zero Vs and 66 angle zero millivolts. Okay? So I will replace this with my source transformation. So this then becomes Vs is equal to 66 angle 0 millivolts, 22. 22 in series with 6, so it becomes 28. Okay, we're, we're getting closer. So now we have voltage in terms of voltage. If, so I'm looking at this and I'm figuring, trying to think, what should I do next? Notice that we have here, this big, all this jump here. If I could reduce that jump, the three in parallel, the cap, the, um, the cap, the inductor, and the resistor into a single impedance, then look what I have. I will have something that is Here's my Z equivalent. I will have a voltage divider circuit, and I know how to solve those. So let's do that. The equivalent, Z equivalent, Z equivalent is going to be 12.5, or Z capacitor, capacitor impedance in parallel with the inductor impedance in parallel with the resistor impedance. Uh, okay, that is equal to 
negative 1 over j omega c plus 1 over j omega l plus 1 5, all that inverted. Okay. What you'll enter in your calculator is negative 1, the omega is 200, j, 200 times c, which is 12.5 millifarads. Make sure not to mess up your units. Plus 1 over j, 200 times 200 times 2 millihenries, plus 1 fifth. That whole thing raised to the negative 1 power. Okay, so here I go. 1 divided by, in the TI-89, you don't have a J, of course. And in no calculators do they use J for a convention, but in circuits we use J. So on your TI-89, you put I, the imaginary symbol for I, times 200 times 12.5 times 10 raised to 5 times 10 raised to the negative third plus 1 over j, which is i, 1 divided by quantity i, escape, 200 times 200 times 2 times 10 raised to the negative 3 plus 1 divided by 5, enter, raise that to the negative first power, and you get an answer of 5 ohms. So all that works out to be 5 ohms is the equivalent resistance. So we can replace all that with 5 ohms. I'm going to redraw my circuit to the much simpler And isn't that a circuit we know how to solve? Sure. Right here, right here. It's a voltage divider circuit. And its voltage is going to be weighted. So V naught of T is going to be the total voltage is equal to 66 angle 0 times 5 over 20 to 28 plus 5 millivolts. So we take 66 times 5 divided by 33. 66 times 5 divided by 33. And magnitude is going to be 10 angle 0 millivolts. Or the way we want to express that is going to be 10 cosine 200 millivolts. And that's the answer.